Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to do some mailing labels in Microsoft Word from a data set that I have in Excel. Now, I've already got a video out on this topic, but it's only for about 30 customers, and I've had a few people ask about what about large data sets. It's really not too different. This particular chunk of customers, like about 899 customers, and these are basically a combination of some random uh, male and female names, last names, address, city states, and some fake zips. But now I have a lot of customers that I want to produce labels for. So first thing is you always look at your data and make sure everything's cleaned up. Now this data is pretty clean. I've got capitalization where I want it and I don't have any empty rows or empty columns and things like that. So I have a nice clean data set, one worksheet on this particular Excel file and I've already saved it. It doesn't have to be open so I can go ahead and close it now and jump over to Microsoft Word. Now as soon as I get into Word, let me go and open up a blank document and let me size this a bit so that you can see it a little bit more easily on the recording screen. Yeah, we'll go to about there. Okay, so once I have my, my blank document open, I'm going to head over to Mailings and then I have a number of choices. I'm going to go to the Start Mail Merge. By the way, this is Word 2013. Very similar in previous versions. I'm going to go ahead and do a start mail merge and of course I've got a bunch of choices on here but what I want to do are labels. So I'm going to go ahead and choose labels. It's going to think, it's going to launch the, uh, the wizard here in a second. And the particular labels I'm going to do are already selected for me because they're the last, they're the last ones I've, I've used. Label vendor Avery US letter. Okay. And I'm going to choose, oh I just lost it. I'm going to choose 5160. There we go, which is a popular set of labels you can buy at any off supply store, any department store. I'm sure Walmarts and Targets probably sell them too. So Avery 5160, it's 30 labels per sheet, peel and stick, address labels, and of course there's a bunch of other options on there too. Um, it depends on what you buy at the store. The store will tell you what model number it is. And I'll go ahead and click OK. And behind the scenes, Word has created a table for me. So you can see I got this little handle here. There's actually a table here, and if I clicked on that, and turned on the borders, you'd really see. So Word has created a table layout for me to use in creating this set of labels. I'm going to go ahead and leave the borders on for now. And I'm going to head back over to my mailings ribbon. Now I need to go to select recipients. And I don't know why you'd ever want to type a new list. I'm going to use an existing list. So I'm going to use an existing list. And my spreadsheet is saved on my desktop and it is my raw data for databases. I use this for a lot of database stuff. And the worksheet I'm interested in is my 899 customers worksheet. And here we go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna design how I want this label to look in the top left corner. That's my working label. And then I'll be clicking update labels to match all the others, to update the style of the others. So I've got my insertion point here in this first label. I'll start at the top left corner. And what I'm going to be using is insert merge field. This is just like in 2010, 27, 2007, and who knows, it could be the same in 2003. It's been a long time since I've used that one. I'm going to insert merge field, and these are the column headings that I had on my Excel spreadsheet. I'll put in the customer's first name, space, last name. Then I'm going to do a shift enter, it's a line break. Insert address, shift enter, line break. Insert city, comma, space, just a single space, state, single space, zip code, and there we go. And then if I click update labels, I'll have all of these other ones. Don't worry about that next record. That doesn't show up when you're actually done. Now, if I wanted to, I could preview my results and see how things are looking. And here's my preview of my first sheet. And I'm just previewing. It's my first sheet, but there's how, it, how it's going to look so we can kind of get a feel for it. Okay, and you can actually navigate through multiple records. It's kind of weird since I have multiple records per sheet, but I could jump to the very end and see how that's looking, and I could start to cycle through to check others um, just to see how those look. But basically, everything's fine, and I'm going to do a quick little bit of styling real quick. I'm going to go ahead and make all of my font sizes on my home ribbon just a little bit larger, and I'll go ahead and uh, do some centering 
all right I'm liking that and I'll make the name in bold and then once I've done that on my mailings label I'll hit update label so all my other ones will have that same style now I'm still in preview mode I can turn off preview preview results and there's my basic label template once I'm ready I'll head over to finish and merge now I will I don't suggest printing right away because the label sheets are expensive I always like to see them in regular paper first so I'm gonna do edit individual documents I'm gonna choose all records it's going to take a second because I've got quite a few, and here we go. So these are my um, my customers. You'll notice in the very low left corner, you might not be able to see that, but I've got page one of 30. So I now have 30 pages of labels of customers. So things are looking pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and click on my table selection. Remember, I turned those borders on. I don't want those borders to print, though. So I'm going to say no border. So now I'd be ready to print what I would do is I would probably just print my first couple sheets on regular paper and then I would make sure I'd hold my my labels up you know with a light and make sure everything's lined up nice and neat it probably is but I don't like to waste those label sheets and then once that test was going I would just go ahead and send this sheet to print uh, this 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 document and all 30 sheets would get printed and just out of curiosity with my 899 my last sheet would have that one empty label so there you go so that's how you make labels in Microsoft Word using an Excel data set of more than 800 customers